we're back and we already recorded this video but it deleted i don't know if i did it or my phone but i'm pissed but it's Listen. okay eternally shook by it it's a beautiful movie it's great it's perfect worth it favorite scene we've already done this so we should know. <laughs> okay favorite scene oh the projector scene because okay. I felt like I was really in the in the room, like you said. Like, it was almost a 3D moment, honestly. At any time he came toward the screen, which was a lot. He was in the movie a lot, which was good because he's creepy yeah. as hell. And that's the, another favorite part. Like, a plus side to the movie is that they really enhanced this dude's features. They yeah. enhanced his features well. Because, you know, in the original, they didn't have as much technology. So, they couldn't really do much but have him just stand there and appear and be creepy. Yeah. And this one, I just realized that eyes... one of my favorite scenes was... When he was the when he, the eggs was leading him down the stairs and all those little burnt children and the one oh, <laughs> and the headless just started chasing yes. him in the files. That was scary. That was funny. That was funny to me. But yeah, but um But my favorite scene is the beginning of the movie. I might as well tell you since in the beginning. We're just gonna Spoiler include spoilers alert. all through this. Spoiler alert. Georgie gets his fucking arm <laughs> fucking gets his fucking arm bit off by it, and then he's dragged into the sewer. Shook me because I didn't know they did that to children in movies. I've never oh, well, seen it. This boy's like six. But Georgie is so cute. Georgie. They're all cute, but Flynn is my favorite kid. Yeah, Flynn is the favorite character and the kid with the asthma. The kid with the asthma for me. Because he's funny as hell. And the chubby boy was cute. Yeah. He should have won whatever her name is, Beverly. This just goes to show that big girls, for some reason, never get big girls. <laughs> <laughs> big people in general. You know, we get the slap. Yeah, because if it was a skinny little boy. He through hell for this girl. He wrote her a poem. He was nice to her. Help he cleaned her bathroom. Her, cleaned her bathroom. Slave to clean her bathroom. For real. Brought this bitch back to life with a case. Like His some case. fucking fairy tale shit. And she still picked the boy who stuttered. All because he was skinny. I'm just kidding. That's, that's probably not the reason. Why. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little complex right there. But, um. Skip all the other shit. I had some philosophical stuff to say, but I'm mad now because it deleted. So if you want to hear the philosophical stuff I have to say about the movie or we have to say about the movie. Watch our live tomorrow. Yeah, we'll talk about it then. But at 9 p.m. End. Okay. Yes. So you talked about your favorite scene. My favorite part was at the end. Okay. So the kids made the blood pact. You know, they made their pact. Um, if it's not killed and he comes back in 27 years, we all got to come back and da 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 So they're like, okay. So the... It turns black and in the movie it pops up and it says it. So everybody getting ready to leave out the theater. Why chapter one flashes across the screen, y'all? Chapter one. And everybody one. was like, oh. You thought we was hyped for this, bitch? Listen to me. No, I cannot wait for this one. I knew they had to because in the original it showed them as adults and kids. Like, That's going what back I was and, saying. Yes. So I was like, okay, they're showing them as just kids now. They're going to have to show them coming back. That's what I, I thought. I cannot wait to see them as adults. I thought when they did this, I thought it was just going to be like, okay, so this is just going to be constantly their perspective as kids mm -hmm. instead of just flashbacks. Like, it's going to all piece together. And then when it said chapter one, yeah, it's going to have to be the adults. I Listen can't Listen to wait. me. If they do adults and then, okay. They have children too? Yes. Oh my God. They that need was to make a, a whole three. series. They need to make a whole book. They I mean, book of movies. Book. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. And what I was going to say was, I know this is really dumb because um, I probably only just now got onto this, but if y'all realize something, the first movie was released in 1990. It's 2017. It's 2017. Calculate that. It comes back every 27 years. Let me just say that, y'all. And we did a little bit more calculations, and we realized that the new one might take place in 2015, 2016. Yeah, whenever Chapter 2 is released, because this last one was 1988, you said? Yeah. And the one, the original was like, it had to be 1960s. Something. Early 90s, 1960s. Yeah, definitely. We could be wrong on that. And our calculations could be off. But I feel it in my bones that it was in the 1960s. Oh, another funny part was that the... <laughs> okay, so long story short, it takes Beverly and the kids go into the sewer to try to save her. And there was this one part where he was like in the circus again. And oh it my was God. like Pennywise the Dancing Clown. And he looked like a freaking... Puppet, dude. Like, I cannot do it. He looked His like a... was so nasty. And it was so... He was just, like, dancing. I don't like him. In. He's nasty. He's, I'm wearing my It shirt, y'all. I wore my It shirt today. It says, aren't you gonna say hello? I got it from Walmart. Hiya, Georgie. Georgie was so cute. He was. He was a dog. And he was a good actor, too. He really was. Bullen is my favorite. Yeah, he was hilarious in this I movie. I love him so much. But this movie was everything. Please go see it. Go do whatever you gotta do. 
get it, buy it, suck it. Okay. Yeah, rating probably eight or yeah, nine out of 10. ten. Definitely, it was worth it. Definitely, it was a good remake. It really was. It really was. Um, what what do we say? The one part. Oh, um, I say I give it an eight or nine out of ten only because it wasn't like terrifying, if you know what I mean. It was more like a creepy. Feeling. It was more like a creepy. Oh my god, wow feeling. I mean... I, I said ew more than I was like scared of the movie. Yeah, and she said in the other video that she kind of felt like she went along the, journey, along the journey with the kids. Meaning like it was really creepy and terrifying at the beginning. But as the movie went on, you kind of got less scared because yeah. they got less scared and they were facing their fear. Because once you see him after a while and you see all, you know all his tricks, kind of like the kids in the movie, you know like, okay, this isn't real. If I stop believing in him and stop being afraid. Yeah. And to be real, like, he was really scary at first. Like, when I first saw him in the sewer, in the sewer it was just, eyes, oh. yeah. And he first did that. <sighs> yeah, thing. and then it just got, after a while, it was just like, okay, he is just nasty. Yeah, after a while, it was like, okay, we've seen it. just constantly pours from this dude's mouth. Whoever played it. Deserve an Oscar. Yes. Straight up. They need to make an Oscar Outfit category for a horror Somebody movie. tell him right now I'm in love with Because he, he did. Really did what did he do? Life. That. <laughs> <laughs> he did that shit. Hey. And then I was about to say something else. I might as well go, so, go ahead and say what I've said in the other one. Um. Like I like she said, like we see this from the kids' perspective, and if you like really pay attention to the movie, all the adults in the movie are like weird or mean or like mm -hmm. creepy, because that's kind of how they are to kids. Like adults are weird to kids. Yeah, because they can't, they don't have that. Like they don't relate to kids. Yeah. in their brain yet, like the development. And all the adults and the older teenagers are just terrible. I Not mean, terrible. One was a serial just... killer, and we called it the minute he tried to shoot. He that tried cat. to shoot a cat, and I said he's gonna kill somebody. <laughs> We're taking a forensic psych class right now, and we are literally talking about Ted Bundy because our professor literally worked on Ted Bundy's case and was one of the first people to work on John Benet Ramsey's case. We were the famous professor, y'all. <laughs> I know, baby. Hey, but um, what I was gonna say was I also like y'all called us out for trying to say that. We said they was trying to copy off Stranger Things. No, we didn't mean that. We well, said it was, I was just like saying it replicated. It looked like it. It reminded us because of it's so both Stephen out. King, so it makes chill sense. Out. I wasn't. We weren't even. We trying know that to, it came first. Yeah, we wasn't even trying to do that. But I do like. I do feel like it pulled from a lot of different horror movies because we noticed the Nightmare on Elm Street. Something was incorporated in that. Like um, Carrie. Carrie. It seemed like. Uh, there Evil was Dead that, for me. I saw yeah. some of that stuff. Yeah, and I, Stranger House, Stranger House, Stranger Things, obviously, and then I was saying Monster House, but then I don't know what you were saying, but yeah. But then we went on this whole debate. It it happened in the other video. I'm the other video was the great. The other video, video. The other video was 20 minutes long. It was funny. We counted down three to one, messed up everything. It was hilarious, and now I'm shitty because we have to redo this, but it's fine. It's not nobody's fault. Man, I forgot about that shit. Goes. You want to pretend to do it again? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Oh! No, 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 we'll do it. We'll do it. Five, 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 five. Ready? Five, Ready? Five, five, four, three, two, one. Hey! Hey! Okay, that was good. That was good. Fucking airport. I'm in the mall. Got all my sisters with me. We've been a ball. We made that wrap up today. Y'all think we should make a real wrap out of that? Watch out for our mixtape, Fiji, coming soon. Yeah, check out our new single. It's not really a single, y'all. We ain't really taking this dead ass serious. <laughs> uh, butterflies. We and have a check preview out up. Haze Me, Faze Me. We gonna put me, butterflies me, out baby. soon. We're actually gonna finish working on it tonight. But yeah. But yes, tune into our live tomorrow. Ask us more questions about the movie. We're gonna watch a movie with y'all. This uh, movie is gonna be different. It's not gonna be Michael and yeah. Mariah. It's just gonna be something that's gonna. We didn't have time to do tours this week. We we gotta go. We're actually going to a football game tomorrow because our professor's offering extra credit for it. Extra yeah, we have credit. to. Yeah. And if y'all know something, uh, 20, 30 points extra credit is a lot. Is worth a lot in college. But we don't even know if it's gonna be twenty to thirty though. Well, the last time he offered it, it was thirty points, so I'm assuming it's gonna be e equal. But yes, um, so we're gonna go do that tomorrow evening. So we will be. We will be here at nine though tomorrow night. But tomorrow, get ready to get mad, get ready to roast, cause we gonna roast some yeah, bullies. This is a lifetime like, movie. If you like getting mad at movies to the point it'll make you throw your, yeah. Uh, we'll do a disclaimer. Um, it does involve rape, so if you are sensitive to that subject, you may not. It doesn't really show it, but it to talks. Of, it's yeah, mainly if, about if that. If it makes you uncomfortable or something like that, you may not want to watch it. But it's a good movie. We're gonna make it'll it fun. Piss you off. It's gonna piss her off because it's one of her favorite movies. I love the movie though, really. Like, it's I'm gonna a, say it's, it's a favorite. It pisses movie. me I know. off. I guarantee. 
I guarantee maybe one or two of y'all in the chat will have seen the movie, but I, I don't doubt think, it. I, don't I think didn't y'all even know about know it. The movie we talking about. It has yeah. Kristen Stewart in it, though. Yeah, younger Kristen Stewart. That's how we know because she used to be obsessed with Kristen yeah. Stewart for like two minutes. Well, I was obsessed with Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about my Twilight obsession one day. We could we'll, talk about we'll it watch Twilight one day. We could watch the whole series and not a whole weekend, but like Nada. separate weekends. Yeah. Like we could do Twilight and then three or four weeks later to New Moon. I will do that because that is like childhood nostalgia right there. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, so I was Team um, Edward just to let y'all know. I was Team Jacob just to let y'all know because he was so fine. We fought every day, twenty four seven. He was fine as hell though. I'm not even gonna front. But okay, put movie put suggestions down below. Tell us what you thought about it. If you saw it, tell us what you think about it. Even if you didn't, mm -hmm. do anything you want down below. The and next time we go live may not be for a couple weeks from tomorrow, but we promise next time we will try to do the tours again Friday night and then Saturday night. I really want to do the tours this time, but it just didn't work out. It is what it is though. But we're still going live for y'all because we love you and we want to and we want to spend more time with y'all and talk to y'all. For the 17 of you that was in the chat. So, yeah, for um, real. Yeah, y'all real though. Oh, Nene. I love you. Oh, she told you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, she I must tricked say, me. Yeah, I must say, oh my Instagram. God, it's her birthday. No, she tricked me yesterday on Instagram. She got me. I love her though for that. Um, Is anybody else mad about, hold the fuck up. Is anybody else mad about Michael Jackson's announcement? About him doing a fucking CD, but all the songs have already been released and it's one remix. Get the Salty. fuck out of here, yeah, Michael Jackson Estate. About that. Okay, you, you can see suck my toe. Sugar Factory looking fun as fuck. I did. I'm sick and tired of you guys saying we have a surprise, and then when you come out with it, it's bullshit. First, a cartoon. Who wants to see a motherfucking cartoon? I want to see Michael Jackson <laughs> unreleased footage, unreleased music, unreleased all that shit. That's what I want to see. I'm right coming out. Oh, I pre-ordered a. All I want for Christmas movie, y'all. So if you ain't about it, don't talk, don't tweet, don't post on Instagram unless you're about that shit. Run me my run me my unreleased footage. Run me my unreleased you music. Cried. Run I it. I feel you though. I feel you. I, feel I love you. you, Michael. Though, and I will be kind because I, I know that's doing what you that would for want. The butterfly anniversary, y'all. I love you. Okay. Unreleased like songs and stuff. That would be great. Imagine if she was dead though. I don't want to imagine it, and I and won't. That her estate wouldn't release Please, none, none of her I'm shit. I'm begging you. I don't want to talk about it. My heart literally just snapped in half thinking about it. I will start crying. I'm actually low-key about to start crying. So let's not do it, okay? Oh now, my god. She don't even know saying. the struggle of losing a uh Hello. You didn't never mind, I'm not gonna say that. What? You loved Michael, but you didn't love him like you are now in your prime. When First you and him. foremost, I did love him. Of course I didn't wasn't in love with him like I am now because I was a child. I didn't know what love was yet. But then once I pubertized. See, it's always a um a different story for you. It sure is. You're a bitch for that. Okay, well we see you guys tomorrow. Stay yes. true, stay blue, stay such a beautiful audience my god <laughs> stay true stay blue stay Put. stay young stay, stay fresh thieving. Oh. don't stay thieving don't stay glamorous it's hearts of god <laughs> actually i was trying to think of something better uh you success that was a good? that's what you need to thieve still success mm -hmm. that's still kind of bad though it means you're taking success from other people oh well and i guess of course that's what your fame does so Baby, my, my, hold on, wait, is the hell the fuck not, no? I'm joking, can I not say you a joke? You know, bitches that thief success is Jennifer Lopez. Can I not say a joke? That's what she was trying to thieve after my baby. I can't say a joke? No, I'm not going to take tolerance of that because my baby has talent. Okay, well, stay and hood, that's stay... That's why my baby got all the achievements she does. Stay hood, stay true, stay blue, stay glue. Achievements don't even matter, that's why she's just the best overall. Bye, mom! Queen.